Hey, I'm Skyler, and today I'm going to show you how to set up an iPod Touch 8GB. I've got mine right in front of me, so the first thing I'm going to do is press the power button, which is on the top. Once I press it, I'll see the Apple logo up here for the first time. And if I give it a couple seconds, the first thing I see is a screen that says iPod, and at the bottom, text that says configure in many different languages. If I slide my finger across the bottom where the switch is, I can unlock the iPod. It asks me what language I want to use to set up the iPod. I'm going to pick English. There's a blue rectangle on the top with a white arrow. If I tap that, I continue onward. It then asks me to set the region for my iPod. This is important because if your region isn't set correctly, then you won't be able to access your iTunes store. So, for example, if I'm in the United States, but I pick Germany, it's going to set it up for the German iTunes store, which I wouldn't be able to buy anything from because I don't have a German billing address. So I'm going to select the United States and tap Next. Then it asks me if I want to use location services. Location services allow me to find myself on a map. So if I want to use applications that are geography-based, like Foursquare or Yelp, or anything like that, then I would have to use location services. It's totally your choice. You can change it later. For now, I'm going to enable them. After I've enabled location services, the iPod asks me to connect to a Wi-Fi network. I'll scroll down the list until I see mine, tap on it, and then enter the password to join it. I'll have to wait a second for it to connect for the first time. And once I'm connected, which I can see by this indicator in the upper left-hand corner, it looks like a little fan. If I see that, it means I'm connected to Wi-Fi, and then I should tap Next again. Here I see a screen that says Set Up iPod Touch, and it gives me a couple options. Set Up as a new iPod Touch, Restore from iCloud Backup, or Restore from iTunes Backup. In my case, the iPod is brand new, so I'm going to select Set Up as New iPod Touch. I tap Next, and then it asks me if I want to sign in with an Apple ID or create a new one. Since I've purchased things from iTunes in the past, I already have one, and I'm going to use it to sign in now. I made an error, so I'm going to fix that. If you ever mistype something as you're going along, if you rest your finger, a little magnifying box appears wherever you rested your finger on text. And so you can actually move your cursor back and forth in order to correct that error. Really handy if you know about it. It asks me to agree to the terms and conditions. I agree, and I agree again. Next, it sets up my Apple ID. If I were creating a new ID, it would ask me a number of different questions to establish um, a user profile. The next thing I see is set up iCloud. I have a choice. I can use iCloud or not. iCloud allows me to synchronize all sorts of data like calendars, contacts, reminders, mail, notes, even photos between multiple iOS devices, so an iPad, for example, and an iPod Touch. It also allows me to back up my iPod to Apple's servers. So I'm going to elect to use iCloud and tap Next, and then back up to iCloud and tap Next. Thanks for watching. I'm Skyler.